Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1503, where we're going to give away a free book based on the voting from Excel Magic Trick 1493 all the way to 1496. Now, in this series of videos, we were allocating invoice header amounts down to the transaction table. And we saw how to do it in Excel, Power Query, an array formula, a Bill Sizz's altered Power Query, DAX and Power Pivot, and even Power BI Desktop. And the results, here they are in Excel Microsoft Online form. Look at that. Power Query wins. DAX gets second, and Power BI Desktop gets third. I'm surprised anybody voted for array formulas. Ah, but of course, there are some that love the esoteric. And there definitely were some people that voted for the Excel formulas, because that's the good old spreadsheet method that we know and love. All right, I've downloaded all the names. Here they are right here, and I need to get a unique list. I've clicked in the top cell, and I'm going to scroll all the way down because there's a lot of empty cells. And before I click in the last cell, I'm going to hold Shift and now click. I've highlighted that whole column. Now I want to go up to Data. And I'm going to get a unique list the old-fashioned way, Sort and Filter, Advanced Filter. And look at that. It's not distinguishing between the text here. The good old method we've had for 30 years in Excel is when you have field names, you have to use bold. Now that it has bold at the top, all of the data analysis features will know that that's a field name. I'm going to hold Shift, click. And now I'm going to use the keyboard to get up to Advanced Filter, Alt-A-Q. And sure enough, look at that. I added some bold at the top. You'd think, we've known that for 30 years. This was a data dump from Microsoft's Excel form. You'd think that they would know to put bold at the top, but they didn't. Luckily, we did. All right, I'm going to copy this to another location. The list range, there's no criteria. I want to copy it to I1, and there it is. Unique records only. Click OK. And sure enough, there is our unique list. Now, last time we used index, ran between in rows. This time, I'm going to right click, insert a new column. And to the left, I'm going to use the ran function, equals ran. Now, rand is an argumentless function that delivers a number between 0 and up to, but not including 1 using a uniform distribution. Control Enter, double click, and send it down. Whoops. I'm going to have to go one pass. Since actually, Advanced Filter Unique List saw that there were multiple empty cells and gave us one because that's one unique item. All right, I'm going to double click and send this down. Now, if I hit the F9 key, that will randomize this column of numbers between 0 and 1. I'm going to come over here, and this will be the name. Equals VLOOKUP. And what am I trying to look up? I'm going to look up the smallest value. So I'm going to use MIN over this whole column. Control, Shift, Down Arrow. Control, Backspace to jump back to the active cell. Close parentheses. So we're trying to find the MIN comma within this table right here. Control, Shift, Down Arrow, Control, Backspace, comma. And the column index number, I want to pull a name from the second column. So 2, comma, 0, close parentheses. Now when I hit Enter, it's going to pull a name. But we're going to do the F9 key to randomize 10 times. And the 10th time, that will be the book winner. So Enter. So our entire process for randomizing, in essence, the rule for giving away a book in an unbiased way is we're going to generate numbers between 0 and 1, picking the smallest one, but only after we randomize 10 times. All right, so I'm going to hit the F9 key. You ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And by the way, if we hit the blank cell, I'm going to have to give away two books. And here we go, F9. There's the winner. I'm going to select the cell, right click the edge with my move cursor, right click, drag. 
let go of the right click, and up pops a secret menu. We point to copy here as values only. And there we have our winner. And hopefully in the hidden column with email addresses, Pierre sent his email address. All right, that was a lot of fun. Thanks for voting and participating and having fun with learning about Excel, Power Query, DAX, Power Pivot, and Power BI Desktop. All right, we'll see you next video.